Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. We do not have the big changes compared to what we have discussed in the weekly report. Besides days, you understand it will be well, relatively thin trading, quiet session, it's just because Europe is celebrating the victory over Nazism in, in World War II. So today's the holiday across the Europe. This will be uh, probably thin liquidity on the market. Still, the few moments, at least, maybe at least the when the United States session will open. So still there are few moments that I would like to show you. So maybe they're not quite obvious. If you remember, uh, in the weekend, we talked about this high wave pattern. And we said, well, most of the direction will depend on the breakout. Upper breakout of the high waves usually leads to moving in the same direction. And in this case, we could consider taking the well, reaching of the OP around 1830 sorry, 1130. Uh, in, opposite, in opposite direction, if market will break it down, well, some downside continuation also could happen. And in this case, probably we could speak about, well, 1 or 950 it's at least, but more probable that we will see market around 1 or 860 is the next support area. Uh, because based on the harmonic performance, as we said, something that starts reminding me here is some kind of rounding top is forming, at least by this moment. So drop to this area, well, very similar to these lows, and it really may happen in perspective of the couple of weeks if I will be correct on this shape. Still, there is moment, probably you could see it on the chart already, which is, uh, well, it's a bit tricky, it's just because take a look uh, that yesterday market slightly has moved above the top of the high wave. So market already was above the top and then returned it back down. I would suggest that it's a bit tricky and a bearish moment. This market hasn't followed in an upward direction, just show in mind the Russian risk of this pattern return right back, up, right back down. Trend remains bearish on the daily chart. On the four hour time from chart, that is our engulfing. It's really great that we discussed uh, also in weekend and we suggest that this might be some minor pull by here. We we'll even have discussed few levels. Uh, but now, as you can see, the trap stands relatively extended and it's not quite slow. So we <clears throat> do not have really gradual, it's a bit well, relatively strong sell off. And it has happened yesterday. <clears throat> if market still uh, will confirm our bearish suggestion and will keep going lower, target might be around 109.28, 109.30, and the kind of the ABCD, this will be next destination point. And well, stands relatively close to this level. So it probably will become the first destination. Market will try and take now to these lows, probably in the case of the breakout. So this is the nearest target uh, if market will keep going lower. Some kind of the ABCD pattern we will get. Trend here is also stands bearish. But at, this, at the same point, currently, I wouldn't hurry up too much with the immediate taking the short position just because of the picture on an hourly chart. Here we have a few interesting moments. Take a look. First of all, if you remember, that's the point that we uh, were on Friday and we said, well, the theoretical it should be some kind of the ABCD where we consider taking the long position. But instead of that, market has for minor triangle, keep going higher. So it reshaped uh, this, this in a head and shoulders pattern. So moving high, create the uh, bullish reversal swing because this swing up is greater than previous swing down <clears throat> and then collapsed but take a look market still keeps the harmony so these laws equals to that one <clears throat> and uh, here we also have hidden divergence that's why uh, chances maybe on the bullish context is not too much or not too much so but this is really great points to consider taking the long position not because of the hyperability of the success, 
but it's because of the very small potential loss. So for example, if you're taking the long position here with the placing stop somewhere below this area, that will be, well, not really significant potential loss, but if market will start moving higher, that will great give you really great potential to the upside. So um, if you do not want to take the long position, that's okay, uh, because it's really risky. So chances on the success, I would say not really too much. It's mostly, um, well, just because of the very comfortable point. I would say this is some culmination point for, for a current shot some direction. So downward breakout moving lower back to the lows, it's probably start becoming bearish. Upward continuation here, well, this will keep bullish chances on uh, for the upper direction, and it seems that this pattern might start working. So only from that standpoint, this is uh, well interesting. At least it's something to think about. Uh, for the bears, the task is very simple. So you you actually should do nothing. You just need confirmation of the failure of this pattern because you already have some bearish points in place. If market starts dropping. Uh, moving back to the 109.60, 109.65 area, return back to the lows. That will be the sign of the weakness. And in this case, you probably could start thinking about taking the short position because it's definitely market will start moving in a direction on the breakout of this pattern. So moving lower and uh, downward breakout. So in general, uh, speaking on the fundamental background, guys, currently, of course, it stands in favor of the dollar. It's just because uh, by the recent news that we've got yesterday, it seems that United States authorities starts to, um, well, starts to scare, scare, scare its own investors because Janet Yellen starts to already conversation with the big companies in, uh, on the term of the default, what will happen, what they should do in the current situation. So they are just uh, bringing more clouds on on around the topic of the debt sale and so on. So this is, uh, of course make investors a bit nervous and uh, well, since the, the trade still dollar is a safe haven asset that might support it in the nearest uh, few sessions um, but in technical side you could do everything that we as we have discussed bears just could wait we wait for market attempt breaking these lows and raising this engulfing pattern uh, bulls either well do nothing because as i said it's not really very reliable shape but still it might be traded if you still decided to take the part but it that's the point uh, to consider for possible position taking also you could do what you could do you could drop your time frame for example to the 15 minute chart and if you will get here a clear bullish reversal pattern i don't know maybe the butterfly will be formed or hand and shoulders you could stick with this pattern do not place stop right there but just on an validation point of the pattern that you see that will be even better so that's what we have currently let's see what will happen?